Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course Basics of Programming in C language and here we are doing some string manipulation functions. Okay, so right now we have covered a lot of functions like strcmp, strcby, strcat and strchr. Okay, right in this video we will cover str, str function and we will also see an application of strchr and str, str functions. Okay, so we will base our code not on the learning basis only but we will also do a practical exercise. We will make a practical application out of it in which we will validate whether a particular email address is valid or not. Okay, so these kinds of situations arise in our daily life when we at our job if you are a professional programmer so at your job you will require these kind of things like validate uh, an email address, validate an IP address these kind of things will be required to you. So that is what we will learn how to do it in C. Okay, so first of all what I have done over here is I have taken a variable which is nothing but a character array and its name is email address okay and I have explicitly specified some value to it so during initialization you can spe specify the values of character arrays using double quotes this is only possible during initialization okay during declaration when I am declaring this particular variable only at that moment I can initialize it and while initialization I can specify its value straight away using double quotes that is what I have done for the domain name as well. So domain name is also another variable which I am using over here at the rate gmail.com it says. Okay. So then what we have over here is a character pointer which is initialized to null. Okay. Why I have taken a character pointer? Because our function str str returns a character pointer. Okay. So in case it finds our string that we have to search inside the string at the left argument or the first argument in case it finds this string inside this string then it will return the pointer to this string okay so in this case if it finds gmail.com inside this ramesh at the rate gmail.com it will return the pointer to gmail.com so it will return the pointer to this particular index okay so here what we have done is we have taken a character pointer so that we can store the return value of this strstr function inside that pointer and then in case this value is null that means there was no occurrence of gmail.com found inside our email address and that means our address is not a valid gmail address okay but in case it finds an occurrence it will not return a null over here and it will go to the else condition and in else condition we have printed that it is a valid gmail address because we have found the occurrence of gmail.com domain name or gmail inside this particular address so right we have added the test which will pass we have added the values which will pass the test because the email address contains at the rate gmail.com and that is why we have taken at the rate gmail.com in the domain also so that it should match okay and it will return a positive value so let us try and first save it then i will compile my code and run it okay let me compile it and execute it so the only thing is that we have missed a semicolon so we should always remember that we should terminate our statements using semicolons inside C language. Okay, now our program has compiled with zero errors, zero warning, and I can execute the code. Okay, so given address is a valid Gmail address. So given address is a valid Gmail address. Now let me try to change this string and I will change it to hotmail.com and save it. Compile it again because you are changing the constant value. So you are changing the code actually. Okay, so you have to compile it again and then let us execute it and it has executed correctly so it has said that this address is not a valid gmail address okay so our program is working how it is working because str str is actually returning nothing but the pointer to the string inside domain name okay so in case it finds this string inside our email address it will return a pointer to it in case it does not find this thing it will return null okay which is nothing but zero and inside 
our check, we are checking if this particular value, returned value, is null. Then we will print that the given address is not a valid Gmail address because the domain name gmail.com was not found inside that. And in case it returns some value, then we will come to the else part and we will print that the given address is a valid Gmail address because the domain gmail.com was found. Okay, so that is how we can use these functions. Okay, so we can use the strchr function also in the similar manner. Suppose we don't want to validate whether it is a gmail address or not we want to validate whether it is a correct and valid email address okay any email it could be it could be yahoo it could be hotmail it could be gmail or any other mail okay so what we have to do for that is we will have to check for two characters first is the at the rate character and the second is the dot character okay so we have to find that both these characters should be in that particular string only then it could be a valid email address and the other thing that we have to find is that the character at the rate should be before the dot character okay so how we will do this we will first search for the character at the rate if we start searching from left side so instead of str rchr we are using str chr okay so that will search from the left side and it will first search the at the rate character and then second time we will search the dot character so when we will search the at the rate character we will get a pointer to this string okay and then we will search the dot character in case both these characters are found our email address will be valid in case any one of these is not found our email address will be invalid okay now how does this logic check whether dot exists before or after at the rate you will see over here suppose dot is not over here in our string it is somewhere here okay what we are doing is first of all we are checking for at the rate we are beginning our search from left side and we are checking for at the rate so we'll start searching from over here we'll surpass dot because we are searching for at the rate and we'll get the pointer to this location okay so next time when we again search for dot okay what will happen is that we will start searching from here and we will not find any dot and we will encounter this null character straight away so our string will end over here our search will end over here and our function will return zero so our function strchr for dot will return zero in that case in that case we will assume that we have not found the dot character at its position so it is not a valid email address Okay, so that is how we have built our logic and let us now build it to our program. Okay, so first of all what we have to check is we have to use the strchr function and the first thing that we have to check is the at the rate character, the location of the at the rate character. So, okay, so now ptr strchr email address and then at the rate so this will return the pointer to at the rate character inside this email address and for debugging purposes so for checking that our code is working right or not we will also print our strings which are remaining okay so okay so we are checking if null is equal to equal to pointer so let us first print over here the string which is cut okay so we'll Okay, so here we will print the pointer is percentage s because we have to interpret the pointer as a string. Okay, etr. In case it does not get any value, in that case it will not print anything. Okay. So what we should rather do is we should print this pointer inside this if check only okay why I'm not put printing it outside this because in case of failure it will cause an error because our pointer will not contain any valid email address okay so here I will re replace this G with E so it will form the correct string that the given address is not a valid email address in else case, what we will do is we will print our remaining pointer. Here we can print it. Okay. 
because we have already found that our pointer is not null only then we have come to the else case so we can print our pointer over here the pointer is colon percentage s we have to interpret this pointer as a string etr okay. so this line will get printed and then after this again we have to search for the dot character so we can again apply the same logic what we have to do is we will use the same variable ptr equals to str chr we are able to use the same variable because after this we will not be requiring the initial pointer anymore okay so that is why we are able to use the same variable otherwise you could have taken another pointer over here to store the second value but we do not need that because anyways this initial value is useless to us after the statement it will be used only till the statement so here the previous value of ptr will be used okay and in this value we will search for the character dot inside this ptr in case dot is found a new pointer will be returned to this in case it is not found that means our it will return null and our email address is not valid okay so again we will search if ptr equal to equals to we should write the constant value first which is null equals to equals to ptr then printf the same thing that the given email address is not a valid email address okay And in the else part, we'll write that the given address is a valid email address, and we can also print our pointer again. Okay, so that we can debug our code correctly. Okay, so we will at every step we will come to know what value is left. Okay, so now let me save it, and first of all let us enter a valid email address so this is already a valid email address let me save my code and then compile it it has compiled now let us try and execute it okay so it is first our first printf is executing okay so when we search for at the right character it returns us a pointer to this string okay from over here so it should print at the right hotmail.com that is what it is printing over here then we search for dot character inside this string okay the dot character inside this string is over here so it will return the pointer of this string so it is dot com okay now if these two characters exist that means first act at the rate character is there and after that dot character is there then our string is a valid email address and it has given the right decision it has printed that the given address is a valid email address now let us try and replace this at the rate with a dot okay so in this case our program will return from this 23rd line only because it will first search for at the rate character it will not find the at the rate character and it will return from over here so yes the given string is not a valid email address okay fine if i now add an at the rate character and in the second place also i add an at the rate character then let's see what result it gives first it executed okay earlier we have replaced dot over here and here also both the places were dot so it did not even print the first string why because it never entered this check okay it, it straight away returned from over here it never entered the else part we have printed this particular string in the else part so this time it has at least gone beyond this okay because it has found the first at the rate that was fine so it went to this else condition and here it printed the first string then it again searched for character dot which it did not find in that inside this string ptr so it this time went to the if condition so null was returned it went to the if condition and it printed that this is not a valid email address now let me try one more thing one more variant i will first have a dot okay so this time the sequence of dot and at the rate is changed but both exist in our email address 
Okay. So let us see what does it do. What it will do is logically it will start searching for the dot character for the at the rate character first of all. Then it will find the at the rate character, but it will find it over here. Okay, then only this much of string will be remaining. And inside this much of string there is no dot. So it will not print it as a valid email address, it will print it as an invalid email address. Let me try and first save it. Then I will compile it and run it. Okay, so as expected, it has first searched the at the rate character, which it found. It has printed the pointer to that at the rate com. Okay, but it does not have a dot anymore. So it will search for dot and it did, did not find a dot. So it printed that the given email address is not a valid email address. Okay. So I hope that now using the str, chr, and str, str functions, both are clear to you. Okay, so you can also search the pointer to the occurrence of a character or a string inside another string or you can simply search that whether this particular character or this particular string occurs inside this string or not okay so i hope that you continue to watch the course basics of programming in c language